Hi everyone, it's John here from Hot Takaki, back with another video. This video is going to be on the Chicago Blackhawks and everything to do with the sexual assault accusations towards Brad Aldridge and the full report and investigation coming to, I would say, to light and making uh, ways through Twitter and becoming public. So there is a full report that I will link in the description and I just want to make it clear that I'm going to react to this video and discuss everything that we know at this point or at least a lot of what we know i'm not going to go into details of the report specifically unless there is a small piece of it on twitter if you want to go into the report it goes into a lot of details so i just want to make that clear there there's a lot of specific details whether you're at a certain age or you want to just be made aware of that. I just want to share with that. A lot of this is, is, is super disgusting and uh, insane that this has gone down and insane that it took so long. And I do want to go over a lot of it on Twitter. So thank you so much for clicking on the video. And, and by the way, I just want to say one more thing. Stan Bowman is out as GM and should be out as GM for the US Olympics. And yeah, let's go through it. So I'll react to this and then we'll go through some tweets. As further alleged, that the Blackhawks were made aware of the alleged sexual assault by Aldridge soon after it occurred and failed to act to address the assault. Over the course of the last four months, we independently investigated first the conduct of the former video coach, Brad Aldridge, in and around May 2010. Second, the extent to which individuals affiliated with the Blackhawks, including those in senior management, knew about Aldrich's conduct in May 2010 and when and how those individuals learned about the conduct. And third, when and how individuals affiliated with the Blackhawks, including those in senior management, responded to the information they learned about Aldrich's conduct in May 2010. Our investigation was independent and it was thorough. The Blackhawks directed us to follow the facts wherever they led and that is exactly what we did. We were permitted to conduct an investigation independent of interference or influence. Okay, so nothing about this whole situation is impressive except for the investigation itself. I was actually, I I was worried that they were going to skip over things. I was worried that things were going to get mailed in. But you know what? They were very, very descriptive and they went through a lot of it. They interviewed 139 people and... Yeah, as you can see, including 21 players and five of the nine black aces who were called up by the team. So players that were scratched that were not playing in the playoffs, but uh, were part of the roster in terms of skating and being able to be called up if needed. And this was the big one that a bunch of management, including Quinville and Shevel Dayoff, were all informed of the allegations on May 23rd. And the accounts of that meeting vary significantly. And it seems like uh, Shevel Dayoff and Quinville completely denied that they knew about it and that they found out both this past summer. And just going through the tweets, Stan Bowman has stepped aside as GM. And after deciding not to do anything to address the allegations, then Blackhawks video coach Brad Aldridge later made sexual advances on a 22-year-old intern. So them not doing anything, and for what I'll go through on other tweets, they basically didn't want to have a distraction during the playoffs, and that led to another assault from Aldridge. And as you can see, more people out, and it was confirmed. I'm sure we'll see it above too. Kyle Davidson will take over as interim GM and no one that was part of the 2010 playoffs or 2010 Blackhawks will be on this team or part of this team. I believe Kyle Davidson, it was either the 2010, 2011 season or in around there. He joined the Blackhawks organization as, as like an analyst or something. I think previously he was part of the Ottawa senators. So yeah, there you go. No Blackhawks executives involved in 2010 will be with the organization going forward. Danny Wirtz said the Blackhawks will seek a fair resolution to the lawsuits. Uh, it looked like the NHL also fined the Blackhawks $2 million for the mishandling of this situation. 
and there'll be other specific wording in the tweets. And this is where you can find the investigation findings. I will drop the link in the description. As I said, you can do uh, as you please, but I'm just obviously as, as, as a YouTuber and someone that's read it already for the most part, I've read a lot of it. I would just keep in mind that they do go into very specific details of the encounter and, and different things that have gone down. So full report, many people have tweeted it out. The Blackhawks did release something too that you guys uh, can go check out. A lot of stuff that's really messed up here. And as a, as a hockey YouTuber, I wanted to address it in terms of uh, news, but also in terms of it continues to show that hockey culture is really flawed. And so I, I'm just even kind of blown away uh, by a lot of this, but it's, it's reality. And I know a lot of people try to t stay away from the negative stuff in hockey and stay away from uh, stuff like this, but th this is, this is real. This, this happened. It's, it's insane that even this, the Blackhawks allowed Aldridge to participate in the celebrations in the presence of John Doe. That is insane. Individuals like Quinville and Shovel Day Awful definitely need to address this. And there's definitely a lot more coming in terms of this investigation and also some stuff that needs to be also found out why certain files and certain things were missing, even with this very thorough investigation. So, and Stan Bowman, a lot of people saying, um, and as well from this statement, it seems like he's not really taking a lot of ownership, which is also really sad and, and gross. I relied on the, the direction of my superior that he would take appropriate action. I regret assuming he would do so. So again, guys, there's a lot of stuff that you can scroll through on Twitter. Yeah, no accountability here from a lot. And this was the wording, inadequate procedures and mishandling. So just like you, as you're watching this video or going through Twitter, I'm reacting to a lot of this stuff. Like a lot of these tweets I haven't seen yet. I'm kind of just reacting as well. But I hope you guys can respect uh, and be respectful in the comments. Be like respect the victims in this. As you can see, I'm not making any kind of assumptions. I'm going based on what we know, the facts. And a lot of the facts have shown that this is disgusting action by a lot of individuals, obviously from the very top at Brad Aldridge to everyone that tried to step aside from it or ignore it or pass it along. I will leave that to you guys to do the rest of your research and educate yourselves. There's a lot on Twitter right now. There is a lot being made aware right now. So I know also on Twitter, there are the direct quotes of Quinville and Shovel Day often nine that they knew. So there is a lot of other stuff on Twitter. So thank you so much. If you do want to subscribe, thank you so much for the support. I'm not going to really go much into that. Uh, I'll be making more videos and streaming. Uh, Drop a like for uh, when I'm saying respectful, I mean be respectful to the victims and um, yeah, obviously calling out the people that uh, are at fault. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you so much and I will see you all soon and thank you for listening and watching this video.